guys in this video I wanted to show you some little Halloween cakes that I had a go at making so for these ones we're gonna start with the tops so I'm gonna do some chocolate balls we're gonna cover some in some edible glitter and I'm using a purple and a black glitter mixed together I probably could have got away with just the purple on its own and we're actually gonna use the the Lindor chocolates for this so rather than making my own I'm gonna push one of these on a cocktail stick just because they're already nice round shapes makes it a bit easier for me be careful you don't crack the chocolate when you're doing that. I'm going to cover it in piping gel. So piping gel is, is basically just like sugar. So it's going to make it nice and sticky so that we can dunk that then into the glitter. If you don't get a very good coverage first time, you can always dunk it more than once. But let it dry before you add a second layer. Although I don't think you're going to want it to eat too much of the glitter. It is edible, but still, you don't want to be eating loads of it. I'm not too worried about getting the underneath bit there because it's going to be hidden. So five or six of these should be okay for the top of your cake. And the other ones we're going to do is we're going to try and get like a kind of stripey swirl. So I've seen a lady on Instagram do this, Christine. I have to look up her name for you guys because um, she's much better at it than I am. She's really good with chocolate work. So I thought I'd have a go at something a bit similar. So it's the white chocolate. We've got a little bit of white colour mill mixed in there. And then I've got dark chocolate mixed with a tiny bit of black colour mill food colouring just to change the colours. I'm going to use the Lindor chocolates again. I put a little bit of chocolate on my stick that time. We're going to dip it in and kind of twist it upwards as we pull it out. Now, I'm not sure how well you guys can see that on the video. So I'll just do another one for you. So twisting it as you pull it out. I'm going to show you it from the side. They turn out slightly different each time, but that's fine. I think I'm probably going to do some of these in red and white for Christmas as well. So... Because I've been eating a lot of cakes, these ones are actually going to be just dummy cakes that I'm covering, but I'm going to cover them in fondant. So we're going to use the black uh, Renshaws. I'm not going to spend too long showing you how to cover a cake because I know I've covered this in quite a few previous YouTube videos. So I basically, we're just going to roll it out. I'm going to stick it with water to my dummy. You guys can obviously put this on a real cake. It's just for me, I've been eating that much cake and I'm not making these for customers. So I thought I'll do it on polystyrene. I can take this back off when I want to redecorate it for something else. It gives me a good practice without having to make a lot of cake. So I've actually done two of these guys. So I want to show you two slightly different techniques. If you prefer to use buttercream over fondant, that's fine. So I'm going to take some marshmallows for the first one and I'm just going to melt them a little bit. Just be careful because they're very hot, so you might want to wear gloves for this. And you're going to stretch it around the cake. You probably will find that you don't need a huge amount. It's very sticky, will stick to your gloves, and it should just stick to the cake. Keep going until you're happy. I don't think I'm going to need loads. So I've got some black buttercream here that we're going to pipe on. Now, everything that I've used in this video, guys, I'm going to tag below the video for you to see. So I'm using a 2D nozzle for the top. And we're going to try and pipe this on, spacing it out. Now, I'm not very good at getting it even. You'll see in a second that I don't get it on even. And actually, I have to nudge them about a little bit later. So once those chocolates that we made earlier have set, you can then place these on to these bits of... Um, buttercream I forgot what it was called then we're placing them on top of our buttercream my buttercream's fairly soft so I have to be careful that I don't squish it down too much it is important that you let the chocolate balls dry before you put them on you guys can see I'm <laughs> where I'm filming in the background look what I'm doing so there we go I tried putting some sugar pearls on to see what it looked like but actually I didn't really like the sugar pearls so I pulled them off and we'll we'll leave it without I think so again there's not a lot to this one it's a fairly simple design um, but I thought, I thought it was quite nice and easy. So the second one, what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of um, kind of a pearlescent effect or a bit of a shine with this fake car holder. So remember, everything I've used in the video, I'm going to tag the products below this video so you can see what I've used. I'm going to mix a bit of this with some dipping solution. So the dipping solution is like a clear alcohol. It is a food grade alcohol and it will evaporate rather than staying on the cake. So you mix in it so we get like a nice paint. It wants to be fairly runny. And I'm going to use quite a large brush to paint this on with. You might need a few coats of this. I'm going to put it on the sides as well as on the top. And because I'm doing it on black fondant, it's going to be a fairly subtle finish. So it's not a strong finish. If you want to do it on white fondant, you're going to find that it shows a little bit better. So we go over it all over once with the brush. Once it's had a chance to dry, we can then rub it down with a dry brush. 
So can you see the, the brush that I've got with the yellow handle is actually a dry brush. So I'm just rubbing that over. It doesn't actually show very well on camera. So in person, it looks quite shiny when I buff it up with the yellow brush. Once it's fully dry, you can give it another coat if you want. It's entirely up to you. I think I gave mine three or four coats. Just repeating the same process. Okay, so we're going to use some chocolate drip. So I've got pre-made black coloured chocolate drip. Again, I'll put links to what I use in the description box below. And I'm just going to catch it on the top edge and let it drip down. You can leave the top uncovered or if you prefer, you can completely cover it in the chocolate drip. I'm going to completely cover mine, I think. But I want it fairly thin, so I'm going to just use my palette knife before it has a chance to dry out to spread that out onto the top. And before it sets, I'm going to add some Halloween-y sprinkles. These ones are nice. They're nice Halloween colours. So I'm going to put plenty of these on the top. Try and get some on the drips on the sides if you can. It was much easier to put them on the top. Place some of the bigger pearls on the side if you can. Just till however many you're happy with. The bigger ones you'll, put, you'll be able to sort of strategically place where you want. I can push those into the fondant a little bit as well. So I'm gonna go back to my black buttercream and we're gonna stick on these little glittery balls that we made earlier. I'm just trying to place them out a bit more even this time before I start and then I'm gonna pipe my buttercream on. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna spread out evenly. I never do. <laughs> okay, we're just placing those on there. Okay, so that's that one finished. I realized from the side you can't actually see the glittery bits on the top, sorry guys. But there we go, there's the top view. So they're both fairly simple cakes to make. I just really wanted to have a play around with ideas and see what it was like to use something in the black. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, you can put it on real cake if you want. You don't have to use a polystyrene one like I did. If you've enjoyed the video, please do have a look at our other videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.